Hey, what's up everybody? It's Pablo1713. Hi and welcome in Off Life and Land. A year ago I was playing the first demo of this game and that was the start of the Kickstarter campaign. Back in the day the game had different title which was the Circle of Kerzover. But now it has a new name which is of course Off Life and Land. And it will have its premiere on April 2nd 2024 and it will be an early access game. This is a charming, low-poly settlement building strategy game with rich in-life simulation experience. Every animal and plant tries to find their place in the nature while you lead your villagers to their future. And I am showing you right now the version of the game that will be available for you on the early access premiere day. So as you can see, this is not the final stage of my city because I was unable to get to the final stage. And during the year of development of this game, they improved a lot of things. They added new tiers, new options, new quests. A lot of improvements have been implemented and a lot of changes. So I just want to show you on to which stage I was able to get. And it took me quite a long time as everything slowly develops, builds in this game and you will see everything in a few seconds. So this is my 1713 kingdom. As you can see, the level on the top left in here, this is the settlement level 4. And the maximum level that we can have right now is level 7. So as you can see, once we're gonna unlock this, we'll be able to build the cathedral and also big bath house. So a lot of buildings ahead of me, so I am just like in the middle of the progress and right now I don't even have the harbor yet because I still need to create the iron forge and other stuff to make sure that I have enough actually glassworks and other stuff to build the harbor. So as you can see a lot of buildings ahead of me and inside of my city right now there are 53 people and 52 of them are level 2 and one of them is level 1. And this is Pablo1713. So he's just two years old, so fresh new, and we can follow him. And as you can see, this is Pablo1713. He's very jo joyful, as you can see. I am joyful, yes. So right now, as he's just two years old, he's a little big, right? But he's helping his parents, and he's collecting and also getting stuff from one place to, to other place, just helping out inside of our city to make him useful in our future. Uh, you know, settlement. So right now he's level 1 and he's progressing through this level thanks to his needs. So of course he got the needs, for example he wants to not starve so he needs to get some food, he needs to have some house and then need to have some clothes. So this is the basic needs and then I don't want to freeze or burn to death, this is the common sense, right? And then we have the information that I want to be healthy. Once all those needs are fulfilled he will progress to the second level. And while he's on second level, the new needs gonna unlock. And this will happen in like few seconds because he has level 7, 97. So in few seconds, he's gonna be 100. So we can speed up. As you can see, the maximum speed is 300. And that's very fast. And right now, as you can see, straight away, we are on level 2. And now he is slowly fulfilling all the needs. And once they're gonna be fulfilled, I'm just gonna show you the super speed. So level 3, 300. So this will make the game really really fast so we're not gonna uh, follow anybody so let's go to level 300 as you can see thanks to that you can quickly go through the night to the day and yeah we got the rainy day today and our Pablo 1713 gonna slowly fulfill his needs until he'll be able to get to the level 3 so of course we got some additional information how old he is how maybe when he gonna die so the maximum year is probably 36 months he's gonna have die that's the optimal <laughs> that's the optimistic way and right now he of course he is living in some small house and with the housing we got right now three levels available for our people so this is the star straw hut very small only for two people then we have the second level which is the small cabin and as you can see the place for four people plus one animal so we've got one animal right now we don't have anybody but this is a available place for them and then we have level three so this is the big house and the basic stuff, we can have 8 people inside of this building and we can upgrade it even more, as you can see we got the sleeping places plus 4 so I got this upgrade for those two houses and thanks to that inside of them we can have 12 people that are living inside of this huge house 
as you can see we got Pablo 1713 he is living in this huge house right in here because we got the upgrade and also we got the upgrade for the uh, animal and right in here we got the raccoon and the raccoon is actually ill I am ill oh my goodness that was very good he's slipping inside of the building so he's trying to recover we're gonna see if we're gonna move if I'm gonna speed up yeah he's moving so you're gonna see the raccoon right in here as you can see he's probably stealing and he's leader raccoon oh my goodness there's a leader raccoon so they're like a gang inside of my city and they're probably yeah this is the leader right in here and probably they're stealing some food from our food sources right <laughs> I don't know what was going on with him he's right in here so of course he also had some meats and once he's gonna fulfill them he will gonna be into the next level so he want to be cared for and this is not fulfilled oh well people need to care of the raccoons right and every actually entity in this game has some needs and for example this tree also gets some information about the growth rates as you can see uh, let's for example take this coconut tree here we got much better situation and then we got the nutrition level so everything's okay then we have the information about the water and then the temperature and if this is fulfilled he'll then go and grow some fruits for us some additional stuff like branches leaves and also you know raw food and also bark and other stuff so each animal and entity that is living inside of this game is trying to prosper and progress through the all the uh, levels to get and provide us with the possible best uh, situation so in here for example we got the milk that can be generated of course from the cow right and it, he's also got the leader cow so the animals are also in the groups and they are you know behaving like the part of the group and as we are progressing you see that we are progressing through years and also through days so today we got the Friday and right in here we got the schedule working schedule for our people so right now as you can see inside of my 1713 kingdom people are working 10 hours during the from Monday to Friday and then on Saturday they're working 8 hours and then on Sunday they got a day off so they can just enjoy and rest and pre prepare for another busy week so you can adjust this and adjust it to the situation and the events that are happening inside of the game because right now in the game we got the new stuff because we got the quests and also we got the events so as you can see we got for example information about the hot summer and if it's very hot we don't want to get the heat strokes for your citizens so you need to adjust the schedule to make sure that they are not be affected for you know to the hot conditions so there are a lot of events that are going to happen in the game and also there are a lot of quests and of course once you're going to accept the quest you got for example information right in here we got rebuilding the hospital and we need to provide some uh, stuff and of course we got the limit 12 days until we're going to be able to fulfill this quest otherwise we'll fail so i need the glass box i don't have this right now so maybe i will fail i don't know we're gonna see in the future so this is something new very interesting that we have the quest and also events in the city this will expand your experience in the game even further also there are achievements inside of the game so right now there are 62 achievements different about the population as you can see the missions and also the buildings so we can go and progress for example in here we got the option with the bankrupt so as you can see i was on the edge of bankruptcy in this playthrough so i was on minus 10 gold and i had the achievement minus 10 so the bankrupt but as you can see right now i'm 196 so i'm getting better and better and i've already played the one year because we are now year seven actually so we should have like play seven years five years yeah five hour journey so more than five hour so this is additional stuff that you can have fun with so you know trying to get all the achievements and get all the goals that are possible inside of the game so this is our marketplace so where the magic happens first i'm going to talk about the top bar right in here we got information about the, all the stuff that are collected inside of our settlement so as you can see we can get to each category and we can actually get the information what the situation of each item that is collected inside of our city so as you can see information for example about the firewood we got plenty of firewood and how it changed during the all the days that are inside of our uh, settlement and of course we got plenty of water as you can see because we got one well right in here so they can collect the water from the well and also there's a river right in here and also a big pond right in here 
And in here, so you know, there are a lot of sources of the water where you can they use in their daily busy life. Then we have some materials, of course, like the flour, grains, and then very important, so the food. So there are a lot of food sources like the cooked meat, fruits, dairy products, and then that the meat, and also vegetables and other stuff. So as you can see, uh, there are different situations. And right now I don't have the honey, but I'm also generated it because this is something new that was added into this new early access version. So as you can see, right in here we are collecting the honey, and the honey need to have some source for our bees, so they need to be close to some flowers where the bees can go and collect all the food to create, you know, the sweet honey. But this is our beehive. So we are changing the perspective, as you can see probably the bell of the church. We are getting to another day and now we're gonna talk about the gold. So we got the marketplace and this is the place where we are trading some stuff. We got some employees in here and they are able to go and trade some items. So we're gonna make the new entry and we're gonna go to the bronze tool. And in here on the left side we got information how much how much other factions want to buy. So right now one faction wants to buy one bronze tool. And one bronze tool is worth 100 of coins, so one gold coins. And here we got information how much other faction want to sell. So nobody is selling it, somebody needs it for sure. So this is perfect to make the entry because we got right now in here information that we have six bronze tools. And the situation is, as you can see, this is fresh new item for us because we just, the first time we got the bronze tool, it was a long time ago, about 120 days ago, and then we have the constant supply once we reach like 180 days into our settlement. So you know, this is fresh new for us. And of course we got two sliders. And the slider on the left decides how much we want to buy. And this is connected also with this slider, which is setting how much we need to have inside of our uh, warehouse. So once we're gonna have one, we want to buy. I mean, we want to one. We want to buy one to reach the number of one. And when we want to sell, when we're gonna want to sell once, we're gonna have five, for example. So in this situation, we got right now six. So once we're gonna get more than five then we can sell something above the five so this is how it's set up so thanks that we're able to sell it of course we need some times because it's the item need to be collected and then sent to the other faction and of course the other faction needs to have money to buy it from us so thanks to that you'll be able to get some money from it as you can see i'm setting also the team i had the team bar but right now i got 19 as you can see so thanks to that I can also sell it and get some extra money from it. So now we're gonna talk about the minimap and some different modes of the minimap. So you know we got the nature heat but it only corresponds to the minimap. But now we can change it and have the live information about the situation of the minimap, uh, you know, options. So now we got the nature, so you know, there's no nature inside of our settlement. But here where is the green, we got the nature and we got the heat. So the biggest heat source of course is the campfire right in here. Then we have the information about the water sources, so we got plenty of water right in here. Then we got the dirt, so how the dirt it is, it's here, generating plenty of dirt in our city. That is very not good. And here we got the wash sweeping station, actually, this is the sweeping station, which is trying to make things better for our city. So we need to increase this, because thanks to that we will be able to advance to the second or third level for our citizens. Because if I'm gonna grab anybody, you will see that in the needs, we got the information that they are actually dirty. And right now, actually, this person doesn't have the clothes, so we need to produce more clothes. And we got a problem because I don't know what happened with my uh, ships that are arriving here. I don't know, maybe they died. <laughs> they were here, but they are no longer here. But yeah, we can, uh, you know, we are talking about the different options of presenting this information in the game. And also, we got information about the other animals, so you can click here and get and fight quickly other animals inside of the world so there's some so we got the deer but look at this the deer is actually dead so the deer deer is dead and i am ill oh my god it's not not very good situation and if we're gonna oh my gosh look at this what happened in here this is also dead dead sleeps dead oh my god and this one sleeps okay so one 
but he's also ill. Oh my god, not very good. Maybe there's some kind of poison, maybe I don't know what's going on in here. But the animals are dying. Another dead animal, oh my goodness. Let me hear that and that. Wow. Like epidemic? I don't know. Not very good. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's just terrible that they are dead. But anyway, you can find those animals and get the information about current situation. Unfortunately, those deers are dead. Luckily, this one is not dead. Good luck, little boy. So we got the Sunday free day. As you can see, people are cheering right in here. They are having fun. They are eating. They are dancing and getting plenty of happiness in here. Also, this is the hearty kitchen where they get they go inside, getting meat, some vegetables. You know, like the restaurant in the city. This is super awesome for them to go in here, enjoy their life. We are not actually only playing on this map because there are different factions around the world. So we gotta press M or we can click, click right in here to activate the map. So this is 1713 Kingdom, it's right in here in the middle of the map. And we have different factions and we can actually go and make some trade agreements, get the right of way and get the, even the free trade, get the settlement rights, get the collaboration and the faction entry so the faction will join us. So I get to the stage where this faction joined me so I can go to the tablelands. And this actually settlement is also mine, so I can play on two maps and actually you can go to any map and you can send the expedition and get another settlement for you to get for example some other stuff. Because on this island I can only have the tin deposit, in here in the mountains we get the iron deposit, so this is the only way to get the iron, so you need to go create the expedition and then find the source of iron and try to get it and then go and transfer it to your actually main city. So I'm gonna turn this off very quickly and we're just gonna check there's a direct information. Is there information about the spots? Yeah, there's a like in here. As you can see we got the iron deposit. So all those orange dots showing the deposits for the iron. So as you can see inside we got 500 of iron ore that we can go and collect and then send it to our main settlement because as I said on the map we got information about different deposits and once we got for example right in here we got the copper deposits so we are generating copper in this settlement so as I will show you right in here we got the copper bars that are producing inside of uh, this map and then I can go and transfer it to my 1713 kingdom so we're gonna go to the transfer i'm gonna choose the table lands and we're gonna go for the copper which is right here so the copper bars and we're gonna send for example just 10 and we're gonna send it to pablo 1713 kingdom so they're gonna collect it and once it's gonna be collected it's gonna be transferred to the 1713 kingdom so we're gonna see that right now we got 46 and in a few seconds we're gonna have 56 because yeah, we got 56 straight away right now. So it was sent from our table lands to 1713 Kingdom. So this is, this is the way how we can, uh, you know, go and transfer the items from one city to another city. And then also you can send the people. So if you don't have enough people in this city, you can send some from this city to other one. So as you can see, you are not tied to just one. Got different maps where you can play and more will come in the future because you know for sure they're gonna be uh, some amazon right in here maybe some ic in the future on the top you're gonna see as you know they are developing and this is very beautiful uh, land and also on each land we have different temperatures and different seasons but in here as you can see this is the what was the name this is the coast right and here we got only the hot season so no winter and in the mountains, for example, you will see that uh, the long winter and then really short summer seasons. So at the end, because this video is getting a little bit too long and I just want to show you quickly what's available in the early access, here are cool buildings, cool new buildings. So in here we got the fishery where we can collect uh, you know, meat from the fishes. We can also feed fishes. So we can feed fishes with some flour or maybe with vegetables. So we can different sources, we can also make the automatic, the passive feeding. So this is one of the upgrades. Right in here, I already sh show you that, that we have the beehive right in here. 
So this is also cool that we can have the, uh, you know, some honey and wax. And then in here we got the huge stone masons shop. So this will generate the new versions of the stone blocks. Then we have the stone work and also rough stone, so the basic material from the stone, of course, uh, you know, deposits. Right in here we got the farm. So the farmers are really important and they are collecting some wheat, for example, some other fruits, vegetables and other materials from the nearby plants. And right in here, very important building. So this is the Forester Lodge. So we got this, we got the upgrade of progressing speed 1, we can have the carry speed, we got the collection speed and also storage. And in the activities we got options to harvest, cut down the trees. So as you can see the radius is quite a big. And he cut down all the actually trees right in here. Collect branches, get the mushrooms and even collect the leaves. But right now I have plenty of leaves though this is deactivated. So you know, thanks to that I don't have millions of them. So right in here we got the carpenter's workshop and in here as you can see we are processing the planks to get the furniture right in here and this is something that was already i think so this is the tailor workshop and in here as you can see we are processing creating rough racks and then we have the basic clothes and then also practical clothes so different stages that we can go and create clothes for our people but right now i don't have the wool so i am unable to create the basic clothes because I don't know why, but uh, I don't have the ships that are supposed to be right in here. This is the sea, we got the housing, we got the animals, and I choose the sheep because we have the red deer, European hare, raccoons, rats, even cats, or even cows. So I don't know, I'm gonna try to solve it and get them right in here. In here we got the bathhouse. This is the washhouse. This is the washhouse, so you know we are preparing bath, and thanks to that our people getting get rid of the dirt that is accumulating on them. Of course we got the church that I think I already showed you this, that the beautiful church. Around we have the new type of the road. It is right in here as you can see we got the stone road and also we got the mud street. So it takes that it is a little bit faster, nicer for looks. And inside in here as you can see we got the food, so bread and also the honey inside of the church and they are preparing the church service from the food. So from the bread and also honey, which is really funny. <laughs> so this is Off Life and Land, really charming, peaceful settlement builder game. Uh, you know, I am enjoying it. It is slow paced, you can build, expand and get to the different stages of your settlement. Of course right now as you can see it is changing also the seasons. So at the end of the summer we got the autumn and then we're gonna have the winter. So you'll see that also there's gonna be some uh, snow in here. We're gonna have different situations, different approach. Oh yeah, we got this uh, right now, the winter. So as you can see now we got the winter. I was speeding up with 300 speed so I'm now gonna slow it down a little bit. To the number two so this is the minimum so this is one two and then i was like 10 something 100 and there was a 300 so yeah all right so that's gonna be it as you can see this is what is available for you inside of the gate on this stage of the early access build so a lot of new buildings a lot of new progressions achievements new improvements a lot of a lot of fun stuff and actually you know they are progressing they're developing this game and they are trying to make it as fun as possible. Alright, so that's it for today, boys and girls. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you had some fun with me, and I hope that we can meet each other next time. So, boys and girls, have a wonderful day, and if you're watching this at night, then good night. See you next time.